Hello everyone, and welcome back to Metalbird. And today, I'm going to start a new series called Revamp Reviews. And what Revamp Reviews are, are kind of just a better version of a review. So, the ones I usually do. So, without further ado, here is episode one of Revamp Review. Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, to start off, I kind of want to apologize for making some really low-quality videos in the past month. Um, I know I had a really big... Uh, a hiatus, uh, you know, I was, uh, not posting anything for, like, four months, um, and then I kind I came back, and then I kind of just wasn't putting as much effort into it, so I kind of wanted to apologize, and instead of making some clickbait video, like, this one, hey guys, uh, Jules here, and, um, so for, like, the past two days, I've been hearing something really strange at night, like, at 3 a.m., I always hear something, and I'm hearing the same thing again. Um, while I'm, I'm, you know, I'm playing Brawl, and it just started happening, so I think uh, we should check it out, you know, see what's going on. What the heck? Jesus! What the heck? What, is that my wallet? Dude, he's got my wallet! How'd he get my wallet? Where's he going? What? What? Guys, I think somebody just robbed me. Jeez. The frick. Dude, that was weird. Is that a Mario plush? I think it's a Mario plush, guys. He threw a Mario plush in my window. What the heck? What? So, yeah. I did want to make a clickbait video like somebody broke into my house. Or something like that, like some YouTubers do to get attention if they're a dying channel. Uh, no, that's not really my style, and I don't know if I could be, be able to pull that off. So anyways, let's get into it. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Crossing New Leaf is the fourth installment in the Animal Crossing franchise, and just like the other ones, you are going to the new town that you're moving to. Wow, I said that way too many times, but you know, I'm going to keep that part in, because why not? Anyways, you are moving in uh, to this wonderful new town. Now, obviously, your good friend Rover comes strolling by, trying to make friendly conversation. Now he starts asking you some questions, and that's going to build the character, and I'll see what you're going to name your town. Now, literally, little do you know, you walk off the train into the station and start leaving the station into this brand new world. But then, there are a whole bunch of people just standing in your way. You wonder, what are they doing? Are they just weirdos? Well, no, because they're waiting for the new mayor. But they think you are the mayor, and no matter what you say, they still think you are the mayor. So, what does that mean? You are not the mayor of the nice town that you may name something phallic, but you know what? That's up to you. Anyways, you have a whole bunch of new responsibilities, like keeping this beautiful town clean and not filled with crime, I guess you could say. And also, you have to make sure people are satisfied. So, citizen satisfaction. Now, citizen satisfaction and keeping your town clean will be, obviously... I'll explain them more as we get into that. But for now, that's just the basic overview of Animal Crossing New Leaf. So, Animal Crossing in general has this really cool system of it being in real time. So, stores open in real, like in like it would in real life. So, in at 10 o'clock, that's when that store opens. So, you have to wait until 10 o'clock, where until that store obviously you know will be open to the public. Now, I do like that system, and it's a very unique one because I usually never see it like that. Uh, like games do that. And even for the GameCube when the first Animal Crossing game came out, it was still pretty, you know, it was kind of a, you weren't, you weren't really expecting that. So it was really nice, and it's a really nice system nowadays. And since it's a portable game, um, you know, it's on 3DS, so you can bring it anywhere. Uh, that really helps, because, you know, you don't have to just be at home to play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, and also, with those, you have certain events, so they correlate with actual holidays, so Bunny Day, which would be Easter, and things like that. So that, in my opinion, kind of really sold me to play Animal Crossing, because I just kind of, I like that in a game. But um, let's move on to Citizen Satisfaction. 
Now, citizen satisfaction is the satisfaction of your citizens, obviously. Um, so, how do you tell and what can you do to improve it? Now, to tell what your citizens are, their satisfaction level is at the moment, talk to Isabel in the town hall, and you can obviously ask about your satisfaction, and she'll tell you. Um, now, the perfect town is what you're going for if you're going for the best uh, playthrough, but if you want the worst town, it's actually not too hard. Like I said earlier, it kind of goes on a real time. Um, it's, you know, it's all in real time. So if you miss a day, you know, that could kind of mess up some things. You know, if you kind of neglect it, the game, um, you're going to have weeds in your town and whatnot. And citizens do not like that. So you got to kind of make sure, take care of the town. Uh, and, dedic you know, don't you're, you don't have to dedicate your entire life to Animal Crossing, but you at least check on, like, check in on the game every day, you know. At least you'll water the plants. That's all you really have to do, to be honest with you. And pull weeds if there are any. Um, but yeah, system satisfaction will also be increased by doing specific things, like, obviously, uh, fishing in ponds, which that's where trash could be. So you can uh, clean up those little areas. And also, if you do get any trash, don't throw it away. Recycle it at the recycling center, because that's I, it's a big deal in the Animal Crossing world. And another way to get citizen satisfaction up is um, make sure your town is developed. So always do public works projects. Now, I um, there's a little cool neat trick, and I'll tell you at the end of the video with how to get a lot of bells um, in the game. So you can I fund my own uh, public works. Um, so they I usually do one every day. And if you kind of go on a constant base, you know, kind of constant rhythm of public works, that's going to increase the citizen satisfaction. Now, if you have too low of a satisfaction, people are just not going to be happy with you. <laughs> and also, new a new flower will appear. Um, I think I'm pronouncing it right. I want to say a Reflesia. Um, it's a really big flower. It's red. You know, it actually looks pretty cool, but it means that your town is terrible. And flies will start appearing. That's a bug you can catch. And that is a bad sign. If you have flies, that is not good. But that is what kind of a basic overview of citizen satisfaction. So now we'll move on to kind of keeping your town clean. Keeping your town clean in Animal Crossing is really easy. Just recycle trash if you see it. Pick weeds as well. And also, if you see any dandelions or dandelion puffs, pick them up and go recycle them. Because recycling in the game actually also increases citizen satisfaction. At least to what I heard. Uh, I don't know if necessarily does it too well but anyways you should just do that in general but without further ado let's actually get into the review part of this video so i picked up animal crossing new leaf expecting it to be your average normal town building simulator that you can buy on your phone for free but then i realized it was something totally different when i started playing it now like i said earlier it's in real time so all your little details and decisions are going to take time to fruition so, as an example, if you want to start building something, even if you meet the donation, um, which, you know, all the money you need, it's still going to take a full day for it to be complete. So, you don't have to wait until the next day. So, it takes time. It's not just instant boom, boom, boom. Everything's done. You build your town in less than three hours. No. And people are going to be angry at you and happy with you. There are going to be people that move away because you don't talk to them. Your town's going to get old and dirty if you don't, you know, properly treat it and take care of it. And that's something I've never really seen in any other game. I will say I had rough patches when I first started because I didn't expect it to be like this. So I expected I can neglect this as much as I want and nothing would be wrong. But I was wrong. <laughs> and I realized that this game really does feel like you were actually being the mayor. You feel like you're actually a mayor. Uh, people have demands, and people will be like, Hey, why don't you do this? Don't do that. I don't like you. I like you. I'm moving away. That's how people are going to act in this game. And, well, that's kind of like in real life. And you also have things like bills. And just like in real life, it's not necessarily as simple. Now, I mean, it's simple, but you still have to work hard and get the money. And for even little kids, it's a good way for them to learn how adulthood actually is. It's not just, you know, all fun and games. And this game really does kind of give you that wake-up call. 
But I do love this game, and it's really fun. Now, I know this review is a little bit short, and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a longer review, but that's kind of my, uh, yeah, it's just my basic thoughts on Animal Crossing New Leaf. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode of Revamp Reviews. Bye-bye. <laughs>